anytime we interview someone, they naturally go right away to their IMDb, for better or worse, and they, they want to vet the person. So you have, I believe, six screenwriting credits. Okay. Can you talk about how many you've written and how screenwriting actually works and how selling them actually works? So you have six there, but probably you have many more that just aren't on your IMDb. Yeah, I, um, that's a good question. Is, I mean, there's I've probably written I don't know maybe eighty screenplays, um, probably optioned or been hired to write at least twenty or twenty five. I don't even know anymore. But um, the thing is that there's different things too. It's like sometimes you can be hired to write a write a script. You know, we wrote a script for Antoine Fuqua who hired us to write this movie about the LAPD. So sometimes you're hired. Those don't get made. And then you don't, they don't show up on you know, your IMDb credits. Or you get hired to write a pilot. I've written several pilots for TV shows that haven't been made too. Um, you know, and then sometimes things are optioned you know, or people buy things, they don't get made. So it's always different. But you know, um, so that's probably the, you know, I don't know. There's been a lot. The thing is I have this rule of thumb to make a living in the film business. I have to have almost 20 projects in development or I'm working on at any given time. So whether I'm writing something right now or have something out there or producing something or trying to put something together or something over here because the formula I think is if I have 22 of them might get put together. So that's what I'm going to get paid off of. So uh, you know because this is how I pay the bills I have to think like that and have to have a lot of things going on. But yeah you know that there's a lot of things you, a lot of work you do that doesn't show up on IMDb because it's things that you wrote that didn't get made or were optioned or you know you got hired to write and once you get hired to write something if it doesn't get made you don't own the script they own it so i don't know what they're doing with you know there's several projects you know we wrote a really big teenage zombie thing for qed and they're not even around anymore so i don't know who even owns the rights to that but we got paid so someone owns it you know so there's there's things that happen like that so IMDb is not a full. It doesn't. I'm nothing against IMDb, but it doesn't indicate. It's not a full barometer, or, or it's not your resume. No, no, exactly. Like I put my resume on, on LinkedIn. Like, like I've been hired to write or, you know, work on like I don't know at least twenty things. Like you know, we just had a TV project that didn't work with a really big A-list, you know, director, but we got paid to write a pilot off of that. You know, had a TV show we sold to ABC that almost got made. So, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, you get paid and you work on, but you build those relationships too with those people. So. Do you think most writers want to take shortcuts? No, I don't think so. I think, I don't think it's shortcuts, but I think they just don't dig in and do the work. You know, writing a script, you know, a first draft and just going, here you go, world. You know, it's like you may have to rewrite it over and over, especially when you haven't done it often you know you have to learn how things work and you have to get good at it it's like any other kind of like craft or anything else you know it's like you don't become great in two months you know you don't you can't ride a bike amazing in two months or a skateboard or do karate in two months why why do you think you can just write a screenplay and the world's going to come looking for it you have to get really good at it and you have to learn every day and really watch a lot of films you have to love films too you have to really be into films and what's the structure of films and what are they trying to say in scenes and and you know just really be passionate about it so that that's my thing is i don't think they take shortcuts but they just don't do the work so maybe that's a gigantic shortcut but you've got to get good at your craft you've got to keep doing keep rewrite and write if you want to be a professional writer you should have a, a ton of scripts you know especially if you're young keep writing a bunch of things you know get everyone's going to get better you know, most professional writers are like on their seventh or eighth script by the time they sell something. You know, so they've gotten better each step of the way, and they've taken five or six years to get good at it. You were in a band, correct? Yeah. And what did you play? I played guitar. Oh, okay, okay, great. And how long did it take you to pick up different chords and feel like you could be in front of an audience? Oh, you know, uh, do the cool yeah. thing with the hair and yeah, this, that was so <laughs> long ago. I mean. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I started playing guitar when I was 13 or 14. So it was, but I played in a band called Hate Department back then, which still are kind of around and were pretty successful and great guys. And they're still friends of mine, which is even more amazing. All those years later, we're still all good friends. So yeah, it was fun. It was, you know, it, I thought I, I was going to be a rock star, but instead I ended up being a screenwriter. But, you know, so it's not, not the worst thing in the world. 
Is there, are there similarities? So you, you, you needed, maybe you didn't have to go to school for, you didn't go to GTI or you didn't go to whatever Juilliard, but you, you learned different chords. You probably listened and mimicked different songs. It's, Is yeah, there a lot of similarities? It's funny you say that because it's about, I think about the rhythm of like things, like you understand rhythm in, in, in story and just, you know, same thing with, with music. It's like, you go here, you do that. You go here, you go, do that. Cause you know, we talk about, I talk with a lot of people about like, Films, you know, kind of more popular type films, not the avant-garde kind of films, are like pop songs. You know, they're not that complicated. It's three-act structure. It's all, you know, there's they, you hit certain beats. There's this point where there's heartbreak. All hope is lost. It's like a pop song. It's very structured. You know, it's not like a prog rock thing. You know, there's movies like that, but those are few and far between and not the ones that everybody sees. But for the most part, films are very structured and they they have a rhythm and... You know, you know something bad's gonna happen here. When you're watching it, you kind of know. You know, you know the pacing of a movie. They're they're all, you know, you know at the end, if something happens weird at the end, you're like, that can't be the end, because you know, you've seen it so many times in films. And just as music producers know, this is going to be a hit, it, it fits these different things, the same with film. Yeah, I mean, not so much a hit, but you know if it's gonna work or not, you know, get to some, but you know, there's things like, like I said, there's been a few screenplays we've had out there where I'm like, wow, people really like this. They really responded to it more than I even thought. So you never know. How do you know? They leave comments or? Yeah, they respond. You mean to the screenplays? Or yeah, yeah or because, they write you, you just get, yeah, no, because you just get uh, up for jobs. You know, they bring you in for other stuff or they make an offer to buy it, you know, or so, so, you know, that's, yeah, if it gets you other work, it's doing something. And get you a lot of meetings. You write a great screenplay and you have an agent send it out, you can end up with like meetings all day long with everybody. Is that its own sort of busy work though, where you've, you're taking so many meetings, but then you're not actually getting the work done, or it's not a bad thing? Eh, it's building relationships, which paid off in the end. 